accidentally changed key in that one. Welcome back, everyone. It's, I'm Ben. You're, you're watching Acoustic Paradiso here on Anderton's TV. Don't forget to click like and subscribe because at 850,000 subscribers, we are giving away a Victory V4 amp pedal. Um, and that doesn't mean you have to be the 850,000th subscriber. It could be any one of you, so that'd be great. Um, anyway, back to the acoustic guitars. I'm here today with the new PRS SE range of acoustics. Um, I've had a little go on these before, actually, because I went and did a couple of videos for PRS on them, which was um, a bit of a treat. But uh, I really like them. They're my favourite PRSs that I've played, my favourite PRS acoustics that I've played. We're going to start with this one, which is the baby. It's the little parlour. And this is the Tone Air PPE 50. Um, it's a really nice little parlour guitar. It's got a solid Sitka Spruce top. The back and sides on here are maple, and the back particularly is this really nice figured maple. Um, somewhat unusual to have a maple bodied parlour guitar, but it works really nicely. And I'm, you know, I'm quite a fan of, of maple bodies if they're done right. And, and this one is done really nicely. Um, so the neck on here is a mahogany neck. It's really nice. It's a one and 11 16th of an inch uh, nut width. Um, it's an ebony fingerboard. And in the fingerboard, you've got these bird inlays, which are the kind of classic, you know, PRS inlays. Uh, the, Tuners are great. It's got some nice inlay work around the edges here and around the sound hole. It's a, you know, it's kind of, it is a, uh, a fancy looking guitar as PRS guitars tend to be, but it's on the understated side um, of that kind of aesthetic, I would say. It's a comfortable little finger picker. Um, I really like it. And it has got this um, specially kind of PRS voiced Fishman uh, sonotone system. Um, which is sound hole mounted, so you've got a volume and a tone control in here. So I'm going to do a bit more playing on it. I think a bit of drop tuning stuff might be fun on here. So I'm going to drop it down to a D. And see how it handles the low end. So let's do some of that. Nice. It's got, for finger picking, I, I really like kind of maple bodies. You get um, uh, nice note separation between, you know, between different voicings and things that you might be playing. And yeah, I'm, I really like this one. It's, this is my, my kind of new favourite little PRS acoustic. Um, I think it could, you know, because it's maple, it's quite a, you know, it can be quite a stiff wood. It can take a while for those guitars to break in. So I have a feeling once you've got, you know, a few hundred hours playing on this, it, it'll sound even nicer. Let's move on to this next one, which is on my left hand side. So next up we have this. This is the Angelus. Um, this is obviously a bigger body. Uh, this is all mahogany, mahogany top, mahogany back, mahogany sides, mahogany neck, everything's mahogany. Um, a really nice piece of mahogany. Uh, it's obviously a bigger body. It's got this cutaway so you can get all the way up to the top here. Again, this has got the, uh, the Fishman pickup system that's been specially voiced for these PRS guitars. This guitar has got a 25.3 inch scale length. I forgot to mention, this one has got a 24.72 inch scale length. Um, so this is a kind of more standard length for uh, people that are used to a longer scale length neck. Sorry, I'm, not, I'm, I'm quite tired today. My baby's <laughs> keeping me awake. and I'm not necessarily making the most sense, but I'll try my best. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna do some playing on it now. This is a lovely guitar. Let's see what it sounds like.
Lovely. So it's, um, again, I really like the, the nut width on here. It's the same as that. So it's one and 11 sixteenths of an inch. Um, makes it really comfortable for finger picking and doing that kind of thing. But this is a great strummer as well, the bigger body, so it's got a bit more low end to it. Um, these two both come with a gig bag, I should mention. This one I'm about to talk about next comes with a hard case. But um, this, I think, is the cheapest of the lot, which is this 499, I believe. And um, yeah, again, a comfortable guitar to play. As I say, I think PRS have kind of upped their acoustic game a bit on these models, and they've, they certainly feel a lot more like kind of a lot more like acoustics that I'm used to playing I suppose than some of the other ones that I've played so that's really nice but now last but by no means least we have this which I would say has more of a traditional PRS aesthetic to it um, let's see what it's let's see what it sounds like as well shall we right then last but by no means least we have this which is another Angelus model this one is a limited edition though the reason it's limited edition is because of this Ooh, Matteo Blue. Um, I'm not sure that the, I'm hoping that, the, that you're, you're getting the full kind of majesty of this blue. It is very, very blue. Um, I'd say it would divide opinion as to, to, to whether you like it, but if you do like this kind of look on a guitar, you're gonna really like this. Um, the specs are pretty much the same in terms of measurements and stuff as the Angelus I was just saying, but this one has got this beautiful figured maple on the back and sides. So it has a different, um, a different look, <laughs> very different look, but also a, um, a kind of different tone. Let's have a look at, look at that now. It's got, um, like I say, it's the same, uh, the, the neck is still mahogany. It's the 1 and 11 16 nut width, 25.3 inch scale length, um, same body shape as that one. But yeah, let's see what difference having a maple body makes. Um, I think it'll be good. So. <laughs> The maple makes a big difference to the to the way that sounds, doesn't it? It's got um, it's a it's brighter, it's kind of snappier, and it feels like it's got a much quicker attack, which would make sense because it's also got um, a spruce top. I didn't, forgot to mention that the top is different. As I said, I'm very tired. Um, but yeah, so the spruce top and the maple back and sides make a massive difference to the sound. Um, I wouldn't say one sounds better than the other, just different, really. It depends what you're you know, as with the colouring. The colour scheme on these things, it depends what you, where your personal preference and taste lie. But um, if it were me, tonally, I think I prefer the maple, maple body on this. I think it's really nice. Kind of gives it a bit more of a, yeah, like I say, a crisper attack and a bit more top end, which is nice. This one comes with a hard case down here, as I mentioned. Uh, the other two come with, you know, very nice gig bags. Let me know down below which is your favourite. So in terms of prices here, this is the least expensive at 499. The limited edition Matteo Blue, I've got to show that again because it's so blue, uh, is 599. And then um, the, the little parlor one next to me is 749. So that's the most expensive of the three. Um, I think my favorite has got to be the parlor out of these three. Um, I really like it. Um, so there we go. Have you tried any of the PRS acoustics? If so, let me know what you think below. Uh, and whether you've got the same impression of them as I have, because yeah, like I say, I'm really impressed. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. I've mentioned the giveaway already, and tune in again soon. We'll be back with more acoustic stuff. We've got lots of good stuff coming up, so see you again soon.